Hey everybody, it's Nat from Nat's Numbers. I'm back. And today I'm going to be talking about the life path number five. So if this is you, you are what I call the archetype of the liberator, the freedom seeker, maybe even a little bit of the hedonist. Uh, so your mission on this planet is to walk the path of adventure. Sounds pretty amazing, right? So um, you seek out constructive change and pleasure. You dive into the positive sensations, the fantastic excitement of life, and you really want to share that with others. Now, to be successful on this path is not easy. I mean, typically when we think of adventure and excitement, we think this is an amazing life path to be gifted with, but it means that there are certain talents and there are certain skill sets that you must develop since you were very young to thrive. So I'm going to list off a couple of these. Um, first is being adventurous, being a freedom-oriented spirit. So you were born and immediately wanted to do things your own way in your own time. You're unconventional, whereas the four right before you is about following the rules, living within the box. You want to color outside of the lines. You want to bust out of tradition. You are rebellious. And this is actually a God-given trait. I, can you imagine what would happen if there was no rebel archetype in our society? We would crumble. You guys are necessary components in the universe. Being rebellious is a God-given trait because it means that you have a natural curiosity. And when you observe something that you feel is obsolete, outdated, no longer working, you're not afraid of tearing it down. You don't shy away from drama. In fact, you might even be attracted to it. You're not afraid of ruffling feathers. In fact, I've seen many five life paths who will seek out drama because one of the things that peeves you more than anything is insincerity. You want to find out what's really underneath the surface so you'll stir it up. Um, another component here is you've been given this path of positive sensation. You're going to be a very sensual and sexual person. So the five fingers, the five toes, the five senses. You love the pleasures of being in a physical body and interacting with the world. And for this reason, a lot of fives have a natural charisma. They have a natural attraction. People are drawn to you for, you might think, no reason, but it's really because of this inherent enjoyment that you get out of being alive. But one of the really important things one of my favorite superpowers of the five is your versatility, your adaptability, your flexibility. You have this amazing trait of being able to be a chameleon. You can be in any environment, any atmosphere, and you can figure out how to fit in. The blessing and the curse. So the blessing, well, to me, it's pretty obvious, the blessing is this unparalleled excitement, adventure, movement in your life, and pleasure. But the pain is twofold for you as a five life path. The first component is that if you have this mission of pleasure, what are you also going to be very acutely aware of? Pain. So the first component of being a five life path, the curse, is having something to escape from in the first place. Every five life path I've ever met had something to escape from, whether it was danger, whether it was being restricted, being caged into a belief system or a way of living that wasn't inherent with their true nature, um, abuse, fill, fill in the blank. Um, the second aspect of this curse is that when you're catalyzed on this journey to seek out pleasure, to escape from this confinement and this pain, typically the first place that we look is going to be short-term pleasure. Drugs, alcohol, rock and roll, sex, you know, money, anything that you can find that can give you that short-term reprieve. So the lesson of being a five life path is a willingness to stay open, to move, to progress, to evolve on the inside instead of getting hung up on the external forms and wanting them to change. So instead of going from relationship to relationship to feel a sense of transformation within you. Um, instead of location to location traveling, you know, here and there, to feel that something is moving in your life. If you begin to realize that the five superpower of adventure and excitement comes from the inside out, you're going to be an amazing agent of constructive change for the world, and you're going to inspire many people.
So I would love to hear what it's like in your life being a five life path. What are your biggest challenges? What are your biggest triumphs? And if you have any questions on being a five life path, please let me know. I can't wait to hear them. So I hope you guys have a, a great day, great evening ahead. I'm almost there. And I'll talk with you later. Bye.